day viewers thank you for joining us in this class here we want to solve this exponential equation and we are finding the value of x here let's change this equation given to have the same base on the left and on the right hand side and the smallest base we can change it to is base 3 here so when we change to base 3 on this side 9 can be expressed as 3 square then we have this exponent here that 2 there we multiply it as 2x plus 1 then equals to also on this side we have 81 and that will be written as 3 raised to the power 4 now for also multiply the exponent x minus 2 then divided by 3 raised to the power x yeah, now when we follow the law of indices, this is division. Now, when two numbers of the same base divide each other, we can summarize it and write one base, then subtract the index. Writing one base, then subtracting the index. For instance, we are given a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. And of course, the same thing as writing it as a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. So we can call it right like that. So this one will become a raised to power m minus n. So this is what we apply. This apply now in this case. By the time we apply it here now, we just subtract the index x from this power. Then everything here then become. 3 raised to power 2 open this one that's 3 raised to power 4x plus 2 so 2 has opened that and equals to 3 raised to power so here we use 4 to open this place too when 4 open that's 4x minus 8 that's 3 raised to power 4x minus 8 then subtracting the index here, that's minus x now, minus x. So that's all we have. Then from there now, we can then solve this further. Let's bring this one simpler first. We have 3 raised to the power 4x plus 2. Then equals to 3 raised to the power 4x minus x, that's 3x. Then minus 8 there. So we then have the same base, having the same base on the two sides now, we can equate the power now. We then have 4x plus 2 will be equal to 3x minus 8. And from there, by the time we collect the like terms, we can take 3x here. So that will be 4x minus 3x equals to minus 8 left here. Then take plus 2 there. That will be minus 2. And that, therefore, 4x minus 3x, that's simply x. 4 minus 3, that's you know, 1. That's x equals to minus 8 minus 2. And that's minus 10. So the result here is minus 10. Therefore, x equals to minus 10. We say thank you for joining us and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on 